everyone, it's Allie here from Allie'sBlog.ca. So today is Tuesday, so that means I have the YouTubers Nail Art Stamping Weekly Collabs. So this week the host is Patty, and the theme is Aquarium. So you can kind of do any sort of aquarium fish tank nail design for this week. Um, so I will have everybody's pictures at the very end of the video, and I also have them on my Instagram, which is at Allie's Blog. So if you're not following me on there, go ahead and check it out. Um, if you're new here, I hope you like what you see and I hope that you will also subscribe. So we're going to go ahead and get into all the products that I'm going to be using, which I have quite a few today. Um, so let's get into it. So first off, I'm just going to be using actually one stamping plate today. So this is the Sailor Collection 08 and this is from Movie London. I got this in a mani box a little while ago. Alright, so we're going to be using a bunch of Hit the Bottle polishes. So we got this one, Hit the Bottle, which is called Sweet Child of Lime. Next we've got Bubblegum Bliss. Next we have a bolt from the blue. Then we have this one here, and this one is Blueberry Dew Drops. Then we have this one, and this one is Purple Rain. Then we have this one here, and this is Peacock Shimmer. And this one here, we've got Break the Icing. And last one we've got is Seize the Day. I am also going to be using this um, Clear Jelly Stamping Polish, and this one is 095. And then I'm going to be using this Born Pretty Store Polish, and this one is called um, Dark Armor. And then I'm going to be using Painted Polish, and this is Midnight Mischief. And last, I am going to be using um, this Kathleen and Co. polish that I got from Polish Pickup. I just got this one. Um, this is Water Goddess. Uh, goddess. <laughs> and actually, also one more polish. We've got this painted polish, and this is Blanc Slate. So, that is everything I'm going to be using. And first off, we are going to be doing um, a fan brush design. So, that's what you see on my nails. I did most of my nails except for one that I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I think I did have a request from somebody, I'll probably tag them in this, I can't remember who, but they wanted to see how I clean my fan brush, so I'm actually going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm just using this midi fan brush, I think I got this from um, the Indie Expo last year. Um, it just says Design Pro Fancy, um, but it just looks like that. I usually use ones that are um, from, I think I got them from Michael's, just like in a painting set, other fan brushes, but this one is an actual nail one, which I actually seems pretty nice. It works pretty well for what I've done. So let's get into it. All right, so for the fan brush design, I'm actually just going to be doing um, little dots of polish right here on my silicone mat from Uber Chic. So I'm going to be using a white and two blues and that yellow polish. I'm just opening them up and basically what you do is you just line them up in um, the way that you want them so I am just going to put four dots right on here making sure I'm in the camera and like right beside each other it doesn't matter if they overlap um, which is totally fine because I'm using three blue polishes I'm just going to pop that one in there, and this one. Alright, and then you're going to take your fan brush, and you're just going to swipe it through the polish, and just kind of mixing it in, it's kind of making like a bit of a gradient there, and that's what you're going to put right onto your nail, so you can see that, and then I am going to get my nail in the camera so um hold on all right so you're just going to start from the edge and you're just going to swipe it over and you can go from the other edge also so you've got lots and lots of polish on there and you're just going to keep swiping it until you're happy with your look and it does create a little bit of messiness on um the edges but it's really easy to clean up and yeah just keep kind of getting everything covered 
If you want to like go right back into that if it isn't dried, you can. This one looks a little bit different than my other ones, but that is okay. Um, I'm going to just throw back that white um, water goddess. Wow, I can't say this one today. Water goddess a little bit because I want to have a little bit more shimmer. I'm going to show you how I clean my brush first though. So I just take one of these little glass cups that I'm sure you guys have seen. It doesn't, you can use anything really. I just like the size of these. And then I'm just going to put some nail polish remover in there. You can also use a brush cleaner. Um, but for now I'm just using... I can't remember. I think I got this nail polish remover at Target. It's the up and up green one. I think that's what I'm using. Um, it's in a different bottle. So all I do is just swipe it around there and it will be wet. So I just kind of try to take off much of the water and you can wipe it on like, um, I just have the cotton round here and just kind of wipe the excess off a little bit. And then I'm just going to basically just spread out um, the hairs on the brush just to get it back to being um, nice again. You can also kind of like when I clean, I guess when I clean my makeup brushes, I do this, like putting it in, oh, I'll zoom out. So you just put it in between your hands and this will make your brush dry faster and then it will just be nice and fluffy again. So that is pretty much all I've done for cleaning this one. And you can see it is right back to being normal and it is clean. So again, we're gonna take that um, water goddess and we're just gonna kinda brush it a little bit on here and there just to give it a little more sparkle. I'll add that to like the other ones too. And now you are ready to stamp. So I'm just gonna do a quick top coat just because I find it works a little bit better with a top coat when you're stamping. All right, so that is what it looks like before I do the stamping. So I'm just gonna kind of speed through the stamping just because the first part was pretty long. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. I just finished stamping um, off camera so that is the finished nail design so I kind of I don't know like I like how it turned out not exactly what I had in my mind when I went out to do it but it turned out pretty well so that is everything for today's design as always thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time thanks bye